Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve. Make sure to subscribe for more of that. Today we're talking about transforming 2D layers in 3D space. You know, if you want something that's flat to kind of move around in 3D and things like that. This is something I know many of us like to do in After Effects and there is a way to do it in Fusion. Let's check it out. Shoom. So here I have a timeline with just a still screenshot. Let's say we wanna do something fancy like, I don't know, have this thing kind of flip down or something. Well, there are a few things that you can do in the edit page that kind of almost do it. Like if I zoom out and I mess with pitch, that sort of does it, but it's not, you know, it's, it's not the same. It kind of stretches it out and is a little bit weird with the camera distortion and stuff. And it's not quite what we want. I want this thing to kind of like start flat and just go floomph and floomph into place. You know, that's a technical term. So how do we do such things? I don't know. I'm just kidding. We use a fusion composition. <laughs> By the way, if you don't know much about Fusion, uh, click here. This is where you click to learn about the basics of Fusion so you aren't so lost. And now I'm gonna make this into a Fusion clip by right clicking and selecting new Fusion clip. That's gonna turn this into a Fusion clip and then I can hit Fusion with my playhead over that clip. And boom, it's brought down into Fusion. Neato, right? So to make this into a 3D kind of flat layer, we're gonna use a couple of different nodes here. The first one is this node right here, the image plane 3D, grab that. And then I'm also gonna grab renderer 3D and I'll just connect these both together and I'll select renderer 3D and hit number two on the keyboard. Really what we're doing here is we're making a plane in 3D space and then we're putting it through a renderer so that we can actually see it. Now to map an image to this plane, we just have to connect our nodes in the right way. So I'm gonna do a couple little fancy things. I'll undo media in from media out, and I'll connect media in, which is our screenshot into image plane 3D, and that will map that to the image. Now I'm gonna grab a background node just to keep things sized right, and I'll connect it to our media out. This just sets our composition to a black background and make sure it's sized and everything just right. And with that background node selected, I'll go up to the inspector and scroll down to where it says alpha and just turn the alpha all the way down. This just makes a clear background that's sized correctly for our composition and it's just good practice. I'll bring up this render in our left viewer. Now that we have this going on, we want to actually be able to see it. So down in our nodes, I'm gonna take this output and merge it over our background. And now if I hit number two on the keyboard with our media out selected, we can see that's what we'll actually see. So now we have all of our fancy node work done. Now we just need to tweak this to look how we want. So I'm gonna select image plane 3D that adjusts the shape and size of the image in 3D space. And I'll go over here to the inspector and we have all kinds of different controls for 3D. A lot of this for this specific purpose you don't need to mess with. Just the translation rotation on this third tab is where we want. One thing I'll do is bring this closer to the camera by moving it up in Z space. So I don't know, something like that. I like to say Z space because you can kind of pretend like you have an accent. I would move it up in Z space. Get it Z. Okay. People who say Z space are like, dude, that's not even a joke. I'll teach you how to do stuff. Okay. So Rotation, if we want this to flip down, we're gonna be all about the X rotation. So if I grab this X rotation, you can see it rotates this and it looks a lot better than that pitch and yaw controls in the edit page. But the problem is that it's swinging from the middle. I mean, if that's what we want, that's okay. But I was thinking it would swing down from the top. So how do we fix that? I'll just double click on that X to reset it. So down under rotation, we have something called pivot and you can roll that down. If we move this pivot point, it will adjust where this rotates from. And the easiest way to actually set that, let's just reset our rotation here, is to go into image plane 3D. I'll just hit one on the keyboard and we can move that around and we can actually see the pivot point in 3D space here. And so what we wanna do is just move this to the very top with our controls here. So I'm gonna grab this Y control and just move it so it's about the top of this node. And there we have it right there, pretty much at the top of that bar, which is what we want. So now when we rotate this on the X axis, we'll see it kind of flips down. And we got a little swinging thing. It's a little swing. So now for our animation, we can just set our keyframes. Let's say this swings down at like 12 frames. Go over to our rotation, hit the keyframe diamond here on our X rotation, then I'll move back to zero, and I'll push this up to 90. I could maybe even push it farther if I just want it to be flat in perspective, you know? Something like that, it just swings out of nothing. So for me, that's 106.6. Let's see what it looks like now. Yeah, so it swings out of nothing. That's cool, but let's adjust this. I'm gonna go up here and open our spline panel 
which will show up down here. And I'll click on X rotation. We'll just move this out so we have a little bit of room here. And I'll hit this button, zoom to fit. And now we have a graph of how this is rotating back into place. The cool thing is, not only can we adjust how this animates by grabbing all of these and hitting F on the keyboard to flatten out that animation, making it kind of ease in like that. But if we want to, we can actually adjust a little bit more of this animation. I'm just holding middle mouse button to move around in here. And I can just grab points on here and move them around. And I can have this kind of swing back and forth a little bit. Again, I'll just box select these and hit F for flatten. And now we have kind of a swinging motion here. Let's see what it looks like. Swings in really fast. And we can adjust this, but that's basically how you would make something like that. And now we have our cool little you know, 2D layer swinging down animation. And you can use this for like literally anything. And the cool thing is, since we've already animated all of this stuff, we can just switch this out with a different image. You know, I could make like, you know, just like text merged over a background and we'll make the background, I don't know, it's kind of green. We can just swap this out with our media in and all of our animation will still work. Pretty cool. So there you go, moving 2D layers in 3D space. It's a ton of fun, I would say. By the way, if you're into uh, doing motion graphics, we have a new pack out called Fusion Titles for Editors Volume 2. It's a huge collection of graphics assets and templates for Resolve, and it'll get you making beautiful stuff in no time. It's true. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. That's just nice of you. This isn't coffee, it's water. <laughs>